What's good YouTube, it's Anthony Matillo back at it with another video. In today's video, we have some more heat with the Nike Dunk Low Women's in the Velvet Teal colorway. We really haven't had a lot of velvet shoes, but this one right here cleans up really nice with the nice tannish off-white midsole and the accents with the laces on top and the Nike sign. Super clean shoe right here, and we are going to be discussing everything you need to know about it before you pick it up come November 30th. November 30th, Nike Sneakers is doing a drop online at 10 a.m. as a first come first serve for sizes five women's to 12 women's. So follow up with that. I'm gonna be telling you guys how to cop it, along with where to cop it more so on Nike Sneakers, along with sizing and everything else. So before you hop into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Anthony Batillo. I post about every single day on this YouTube channel, bringing you guys the latest, the greatest, and the earliest sneakers as well with other sneaker content as well so make sure you check me out on instagram at anything got souls also in the description for shoes for sale like this one and also pre-orders for upcoming releases and much more so before we start with the shoe let's get into the box start off the box guys nothing too crazy for the box just your classic red and white nike dunk low box size eight women's which equates to a six and a half men's unfortunately guys for some like women's exclusive shoes sizes range from size five women's which is a three and a half men's all the way up until a size 12 women's which is only a ten and a half men's which is pretty small for a lot of people so that means a lot of people who are bigger than a size 10.5 men's miss out on able to wear this pair right here which sucks but that's the way it is i wish they did like extended sizing but i get because it's like a woman's exclusive so also like smaller size range and everything, but eight women's is a pretty common size. Here we have the shoe guys. Let me know in the comments, is this a cop or a drop? See with the velvet, it fades from like a light to like a dark, depending on how you look at it and which like kind of like perspective you see this pair right here. But velvet throughout pretty much the entire of the shoe and onto that top and everything, you got these nice cream-ish off-white tan, like that vintage vibe with the, um, nice laces the laces are kind of like this harder laces i feel like it has like this coat on it and then it also comes with an additional laces in this nice green set right here i feel like the off-white tan this like light cream color looks super good it just kind of like complements the midsole super sharp midsole in this off-white tan go down to the outer soles in this nice classic outer soles for this nike dunk low nice stars kind of like minimal versus your jordan ones that i always say and Nike Dunks, nice strad, nice Nike sign right there. Classic outer soles, nothing's gonna change for that. And then you got your Nike on the back, also in this velvet. Yes, more velvet right there. Clean stitching throughout the the velvet. Super clean, guys, in my opinion. I like velvet shoes. I know, like, I'm pretty sure, like, if you get like water on it, it's not good. But that's pretty much the deal for every shoe. But with velvet, I would try to keep this clean as possible. It just looks the best, the cleanest. And for creasing and everything, guys, it's not gonna crease like terribly that much, but just be careful just with any other shoe. Super sweet shoe right here, guys. Let me know in the comments, is this a cop or a drop? And being a woman's exclusive release, guys, be careful with sizing. This shoe does fit true to size, just like any other Nike Dunk Low. Just in general, Nike Dunks do fit true to size, but since this is a woman's exclusive release, say I wear a size 10 true to size and a men's size, I would have to get an 11 and a half in this sneaker right here, just cause it is a woman's. So you gotta be careful with sizing and everything. Retail on this pair is $120. They have come out in select retailers, both in store and online. And now we have the Nike sneakers drop November 30th. It's the best chances on Nike sneakers to pick up this pair. They have the most stock and it's just, I feel like a easier and your higher chances are on Nike Seekers in the app. So I recommend making multiple accounts. I say this because it increases your chances. Just make sure you change your payment method and also the address for that account. Just mix it up. If you're doing it from the same household, you don't want to get like flagged or IP banned because that has happened to people in the past. So I would recommend doing that to increase your chances. Go for multiple sizes. On the resale market right now, like StockX for reference, Prices and overall shoe really isn't reselling that much. Market right now is ranging from about 140 to 150, lowest ask. So that means profit is pretty much slim to none on the sneaker right here. Depending if you sell it locally, you might be able to make a few bucks on this pair. But if you sell it to StockX or Go or some other marketplace that takes kind of like some money from you, it's really not worth it, guys. 
But this pair right here is a super clean personal, none the last right here, guys. I hope you guys all are able to pick up this pair right here for retail, at least on Nike sneakers or local retailers around you guys. So I hope you guys all cop this sneaker right here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with more heat. Peace.